Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another large block station. This one is very unique with its overall design and it's in dire need of some repair work and a new coat of paint. And it's called the Rusty Habitat Station 01, which is this lovely thing that I'm currently standing on. So this is a fully working station that has everything we need to survive in survival mode. We've got assemblers, we've got refineries, cargo containers, hydrogen tanks, and it even comes with two ships, a small one and a large one, which are currently sitting over there. We're not actually going to have a look at these, they're just going to be sitting in the background. Yes, it comes with everything, and it's ready to go. So pressing F10 and find this in the spawn menu, the Rusty Habitat Station 01, if the spawn menu can load, is 1031 large blocks, but we can see down here its overall side with both the ships attached onto it. But it does use pretty much all the DLC packs, and we do have all the important information about it, such as what's included, there we go, there's our auction farms, our assemblers, refineries, and survival kits. So giving this thing a thumbs up, which I already have, we'll come around to where I'm standing. We'll have a quick look around the outside, a quick tour of the interior, then we'll just go and gloss over them and see what they look like. So at the very front, this is what we get, the Rusty Habitat Station 01. And that's a lovely hangar bay, where we do have hangar bay doors on both sides. They can be controlled by a button on the interior and exterior, they can probably see on the right hand side. Pulling away from here, what we can see is a bunch of unfinished and rusty solar panels, which you could, if you really want to, repair up and make them fully functioning, but that kind of go against the design. Moving down just a little bit, what we're going to see is a bunch of conveyors that come across some oxygen tanks and the hydrogen tanks, but once again, a bunch of unfinished rusted blocks. This time it's our armoured panels, we go all the way down to the bottom, we've got some columns, onto an interior pillar, with an interior light on the very end of it, for some decoration. If we were to pull away from this and move to the right hand side, this side is where the small ship was attached up to, but we've got ourselves a large cargo container, a bunch of solar panels sitting on some hinges, and if you really wanted to, you could use one of the programmable blocks that we'll see later on and add on the solar alignment script so these can move around with the sunlight to maximize the amount of power they're generating. But we could also see a walkway that goes below the station for some maintenance work. Then over to this section, we've got another walkway that comes across to a connector, which is where the small ship was docked up to. If you were to come around and face it like so, we can see our hinges attach onto our solar panels, and we can see some nice use of our hazard skin right next to our connector. Move around towards the back of this, we can see our conveyor that goes all the way along towards the middle of the station. There's the back of our cargo container, once again some great use of our unfinished rusted steel blocks, or armoured panels even. We can see even more of our little walkway below our station. Up to this section on the main body, we've got some great block work, and just how everything's kind of been slapped together to give it that overall rundown and rusted up look. Moving across over to the rear of where I was standing, once again some unfinished rusted solar panels, and there is the back of where we can fly a ship inside. Moving all the way up, we've got a window to peer inside at our small little living quarters, where we can clearly see our vending machine and a table to eat our food on. We'll get a better look at that when we're on the inside. Up here is our auction farm, as well as an antenna, where we've got some great fun neon tubes in a red colouring, just some added decoration. If you were to move back down and move along towards the sign that had the large ship attached up to, what we're going to see is even more unfinished solar panels and a couple of windows to peer inside. This is our interior walkway that will go past a couple of assemblers, a couple of O2H2 generators that will eventually lead to a doorway, which is right over there. Now then come outside and over to the opposite side, and this is where the large ship, that ship over there, was docked up to. So it's very similar to the one on the opposite side, but we do not have the hazard skin. Instead, we've got a nice clear area so the large ship can dock up to this without risking damaging anything. Moving all the way up and looking down, below our catwalk we can see once again our curved conveyor going along towards the middle of the ship. Over to this section, that's our doorway next to an unfinished spotlight. Then we can see a nice lot of walkways that go all the way around this station. All the way up to here, and looking down at the top, there's the main body, there's our antenna. Clearly see our unfinished solar panels on both sides, and our solar panels on the hinges over on this section. If we were to drop down and come underneath this thing, then take a look at the walkway around the bottom. So there we go, we don't really go anywhere with this, it's simply just a walk around to do some repair work. There's our steps go all the way up to the main hangar bay. Then dropping down and coming underneath it, looking at it like so, that's all we can see. And yes, before I grab hold of my character, before we go on the inside, what we'll do is come over to here, here is a small ship, once again following the same theme of a rusted, beaten up look. We've got an order cannon, it features all types of thrusters, and we do have an order detector on it, so we can go out and about, scout for all patches, if we need to. Come around towards the back, there is our connector, there's our landing leg, so it'll connect up to those hazard skins, that sit either side of our connector on the base. 
into the opposite side and looking down. There we are. And then as for the large ship, this is a very big one that features jump drives on it, so you can do some long distance trading if you wanted to, but it does have a custom gun on top, an auto cannon turret, and we do have some interior turrets on the left and right hand side, with once again all types of thrusters and a nice little bridge. The interior for this ship is very small so you don't really need to go inside, it does feature everything you need to survive in survival mode, and there is our doorway to get inside, next to our connector, that's the one we shall dock up to the station with. They're on towards the back, we should get some nice speed out of that. Moving all the way up and looking down, solar panels for the renewable power, and over to our custom turret. It's a very similar design to what we've seen on quite a few other designs, where it's simply a hinge on a rotor, and there's our camera and the auto cannons. And there we go. With that all done and out of the way, that's a brief look around the outside of the station and the ships. So now it's time for me to grab hold of my character and we get a better look around the outside, and of course the interior. And this is what we start with. So here is our hangar bay where we've got our button panel on the inside and outside, as well as on the opposite side, where simply a one button press to close up this door. Just doing that to open it up, walking through here, there's our button to close up, which I'll do right now. Then on the side of the wall, we've got ourselves our lovely access panel, which I do absolutely love, just open and close that. We have a ladder right next to it that'll go down to our control room, which features two programmable blocks, which are once again our brand new programmable blocks from the latest DLC pack. We'll come back to that a bit later. There's another locker, there's a shelf, looking up and around the room, some great use for light panels. And on the opposite side we've got a survival kit with a conveyor cap on the side of it, with a doorway that goes up and further into the station. For the moment what we're going to do is come down this ladder which is going to drop all the way down, and this is our control centre which features our gravity generator, a couple of batteries, there's our two programmable blocks which I do absolutely love the design of these, they're just fantastic to fit in the room, especially one like this, because it fits so perfectly. But yes, we do have windows appear outside, and there is our walkway below our station. Should be the same on the opposite side. There we go. Coming up to our programmable blocks, they have nothing going on with them. So if you want to, you can have an auto door and airlock script, and of course the solar alignment script for the solar panels on the hinges. That's entirely up to you. Coming back all the way up to here, because it's time to walk around the station on the outside. Out we come, and I think we need to close up this one. We need to open up this one, because we need to come outside it. So where do we want to go? I suppose I'll come around on the left hand side, now walk around here in this lovely little walkway, cross our catwalks, and this is our large cargo container for some easy access. We now walk past this, come under our solar panels, now have they been attached up to the hinges, we will need to crouch to get past this one, because unfortunately my character is too tall, and we need to just come down a little bit, and there we are. Walking all the way across, this is where our small ship was stocked up to, so we reverse it up to, so now just walk on top of it and get into the cockpit, now we come back around, back to where we just were, crouching past this. Now it's time to go to the opposite side. And here we are. So we come through a side which is very similar to what we just came through, but this time we've got a few ways to go. We can go up, which will take us around to where basically the interior is going to come out with, or we can go around the bottom to where our programmable blocks were sitting. So walking down these steps, all the way around, down to here, here is the lower catwalks, where like I said, we can easily do some repair work if we took damage, and of course we can monitor a few bits and bobs, and we could even have a small ship dock up to this, and we can walk onto it. I suppose this could be more for like a hover chair, or some kind of very small ship, if you to go around and repair the station with, so you can just walk onto it. That's entirely up to you. But we can walk around this way, we'll come across to our windows pit inside our programmable blocks, and all the way around to here, another setup like this, where we can walk onto a ship, look up our solar panels, there are cargo containers, then eventually we'll come back around to where our stairs were, and we can move back up, and back into the station. So up we come, we're not going to come through this way because we need to come back through here, so we can come inside, up these steps, and we'll go through this station. Both of these will lead to the same place, because it doesn't really matter where I go. Just open this, we've got a double door for an airlock, all the way through to here, and this is what we get. Got some steps that lead all the way up to our living quarters, which is what we saw at the top, where we can see our kitchen table, a bunch of seats, a planter, a lovely rustic interior, and we've got a fantastic use of our brand new full block air vent with an LCD screen in front of it, which I do absolutely love. So you no longer have to build those weird little sort of hidey holes to hide up the air vent and put a catwalk on top of it. You now just put stuff in front of it and have it all working. There is our vending machine. Turning around, there's a doorway that'll lead to our bedroom. We've got a bed, locker, and a shower. Coming out of this one, we'll then have an identical setup in this one. So there's a bed, locker, shower. Coming out of this and moving all the way back around, back down these steps, and continue along through. Here is our little toilet for everyone to use, 
There is our O2H2 generator, and there is our basic refinery. Through this section, that is our assembler. There's another locker. Then looking around here, we've got a fantastic view at the asteroids ahead. And if you are interested in the skybox I'm currently using, there will be a link to it in the description below. It's just a lovely one that has a giant ocean below it, and makes it look like there's a gigantic planet below you. Anyway, double door for an airlock once again, and this is going to take us to our little catwalk that we saw attached onto our large ship docking pad. And if we were to come around this corner, this is our catwalk that will lead all the way around, come to our steps, that's where we were earlier on. So that's the steps that lead down to our control room area, that goes to the hangar, then we can come back around, all the way through, not fall off that, and that'll take us to the opposite end where our large ship was docked up to. And there we go. That was a brief look around the outside, a brief tour of the interior, and it looks bloody fantastic with how it's all been set up. If you want to grab hold of the free camera once again, and look at it like so, it's still an absolute fantastic design station that you could use as a theme for the start of your survival mode. You can spawn it on this, you have everything you need to actually get going in survival mode, then you can repair it up, give it a new coat of paint, use it as a story element, use it as a role playing element to get it all fully repaired, fully painted, and ready to go. Of course, you can always do the same with the little ship sitting right next to it, which I'll once again attach onto this when you spawn it in, so you've got your work cut out for you. But yes, that's that for this station. It's absolutely fantastic with how it's all been set up. There'll be a link to it along with the Skybox in the description below. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye bye.